Pua. This is a roller coaster. It has no scenery, it's boring, and I hate it. This is an attraction. It has a station, theme, and of course, plenty of scenery. Today, I'm going to show you how I make the scenery for all my attractions in the amazing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Okay, let's get started. If you are planning on building an elaborate station, it is important to make a large station platform and plan accordingly when building the lift hill. I would encourage stopping and beginning scenery parts of this stage as I am doing here, because you do not want to have your roller coaster getting in the way. Sometimes, if you want your attraction to be heavily reliant on a theme like I do here, it is best to plan the ride around the scenery versus building a ride, then throwing a bunch of random scenery around it like most people do. For the last portion of this part of the time lapse, you will see me finish the main chunk of the scenery around the station and finish the roller coaster. Keep in mind, as you finish the roller coaster, you should always be thinking, how do I want to incorporate this into my scenery later?
All right, this next part is probably one of the most important parts of the whole thing, so listen up. Okay, so the idea of a roller coaster is that it feels really dangerous. You feel like you're going to crash into something. So what you want to do is you want to add little shacks and basically anywhere you can make the roller coaster go indoors and outdoors again or you know, closely around different things. Make it feel dangerous. Add little shacks that it flies through. Stuff like that. That'll really add some spice to your roller coaster. Also, before we go back into the time-lapse mode one more time, or we already are, but before we go back to listening to music again instead of my voice, um, remember one more thing that's really important. Stay to your theme. Do not just make random, different, like, blocks and stuff. No, keep the theme the same, because if you start putting different scenery objects that don't belong to the coaster, it looks like one big mess. So stick with that. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, after all that hard work, let's take a look at the final product.
And there you have it. A simple, boring, and typical roller coaster turned into a thrilling, exciting, and well-designed attraction. And it only took some careful planning and some creative scenery placement.